Hey guys, it's Half. I am back again, and this is going to be the unboxing, review sort of thing of Ultra 3's advent calendar. Um, this, I, t I don't know whether they brought it out just this year or whether they've done it in other years. Um, I found this on Ultra 3's website on sale for like six dollars. It has 24, well, it says festive colours of mini nail polish. So I thought I would do a quick sort of undo, I mean, I know Christmas has passed, but you know, like, can you get it on sale? So, let's just get into it. So, number one. It doesn't want to come out. Number one is a <coughs> silver called Glamopus. And as you can see, they're just little minis. Quite cute. I uh, don't know how many mils they are. Probably like five mil. Okay, so that was number one. Let's see if I can find number two. Number two is a purple. It's actually a purple that I'm really home, but that's alright. Minis are fine. This is called Palette Play. Number three is a blue. This is called Block It Out. Nice kind of skyish sort of blue, touch of green. Number four is Lily White. Today this is Lily White because it's white. <laughs> and I own it. It's actually a very good white. Number five is a gold. This is Gold Rush Fever. I don't own this one. So, so far I've got three that I don't own, so that's not bad. I own a lot of Ultra 3 nail polish. <laughs> and number six is a pink. Don't own this one either. This is Strawberry Sunday. A bright pink. Still sort of like a mid-toned kind of pink. What are we up to? Number seven. Number seven is one that I already own. This is Pacific Fever, which is a really pretty sparkly green. Number eight. is a colour I already own by the look of it because it's so gorgeous. Yep, this is Orchid. This is one that my one of my nail clients actually bought me. Well, she bought two of them and she gave me one of them. So it's Orchid, which is a purple with a gold shimmer. Number nine. It's a lilac, but it looks great. Uh, this is called Lilac Bloom. I don't own this one. Well, I do now, but I didn't own this one before. It's actually it's supposed to be a pale lilac, but it comes across quite grey to me. It might be a bit different on the nail. Number 10 is Black Satin, which is their black. I don't think I got this one. I have another nail polish called Black Satin, but it's not an Ultra 3 one. Number 11 is one that if you were watching my haul video, you would have already seen. This is New Year's Eve. 
This is a blue glitter topper. Actually go really well with Lock It Out. That would be a great many. Number 12. That's sometimes really hard to remember how to count. Um, this is another one that I actually have. This is Tahiti, which is going to make the camera freak out. It is a neon orange. I love this color. Not at all unhappy. Number 13 is another one that you would have seen if you watched my whole video. This is Pot of Gold which is a gold glitter topper and again that would make a nice interesting mani with um, gold rush fever fourteen is one of my favorite blues if you watch my favorite blues um, and my uh, top 16 of 16, you would have seen this one. This is Blue Marlin. Fantastic. Bright blue. 15 is one that I didn't have before. This is Pale Dahlia, which is kind of like a really soft peachy kind of colour. Uh, 16 is another one that I didn't have before. This is Bon Bon, which is like a shimmery, creamy sort of colour. Reminds me of satin. 17 is Disco Fever, which is a red glitter topper, same glitters as New Year's Eve and Pot of <coughs> Gold, um, which is cool. Number 18 is Over the Rainbow, which I actually already have. This is a rainbow colored glitter which is basically the same as um, Disco Fever just lots of different colors rather than just red I'm itchy now. Uh, 19 is Luck of the Irish which is the green glitter topper which is the silver glitter topper you would have seen some of these if you watched my last like my whole video 21 is emerald intensity which is another one you would have seen if you saw my whole video is one that I didn't have. This is Sizzling Red. This would be a nice mani with Disco Fever. Second to last one, number 23, is not one that I have, but I have been eyeing it off. Is Fruit Tingle, which again is going to make my camera freak out because it's a neon pink. It is gorgeous. Love that color. And the last one is another one I don't actually have, and it's going to make camera freak out because it's kind of basically a almost neon orange called Bright Me. Oh, that is cool. 
So that is everything that was in the Ulta 3 Advent calendar. I'm actually really happy with that, um, especially for $6.00. Considering um, full-sized ones, even if I got them at their normal price on Ulta 3's website, which is like $2.95, that's only two nail polishes. And, you know, when you've got lots of nail polish, you're not likely to use all of the nail polish. Not always, anyway. At least with minis, you get to try them out, see whether you actually like them or not, whether you want the full size of that. I mean, clearly I already have the full size of some of them. But there are other ones of which I haven't bought, like Fruit Tingle, which I haven't bought the full size of, even though I've been eyeing it off for a while. So it'll be a good way to check and see what the actual formula is like on it. Um, and since I'm doing um, pretty much this year trying to just use minis as much as possible, I now have 24 more to add to the collection. So I shouldn't run out of colours if anything else. So that is, I think it's probably great. Even at $12, I think it is great value for money that still works out at like 50 cents a bottle, which... Seriously, I'd pay that for full size. I'd pay that for a mini. I mean, I think that's great value, really. So, yeah, I think if you had, if you're in Australia and you got the opportunity to get your hands on these, I think it would be a great way for you to actually try Ultra Three nail polishes and see what you think of them. Um, all the people I know who've tried Ultra Three nail polishes are actually really impressed by how good they are on the whole. So. Yeah, so that was my unboxing slash review of the Ultra 3 Advent Calendar. If you want to see more of my stuff, then click the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to click the bell so that you get notifications. Give me a thumbs up if you like nail polish type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.